Say what again, motherfucker? I dare you. I double dare you. Those are the famous words uttered by Mr. Samuel L. Jackson, the subject of our drawing today. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. Today we have a drawing of the well-known, well-known actor, director, Samuel L. Jackson, who has played in over a hundred films, all of which have done very well, especially his most recent ones, as he plays Nick Fury of the Marvel, in the Marvel Universe movies. But he's had other roles prior to, prior to Marvel, prior to Avengers and all that. He's played Gator. Those who know who Gator is, type of Samuel Jackson Gator, and then you'll know. He played the the robber on uh, Coming to America. He was the guy sticking up the McDowell's restaurant. He played, uh, was it Frozone for Mr. Incredibles? Where is my super suit? Yes, that's him. Many, 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 many famous roles. He played, I forgot his name, uh, for, uh, Django Unchained. The D is silent. He played the, I don't know what I was going to call it, a, a lackey for the Slave Master. Played a bunch of roles. Played a bunch of roles. So anybody familiar with Sam? Oh, he played Mace Windu in uh, Star Wars, the Star Wars uh, movies. The only one in Star Wars to have a purple lightsaber, the first and only to have a purple lightsaber. So yeah, he he his 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 range is very very expansive. And a lot of people just know him for his profanity laced lines in movies, which, yeah, because they are hilarious. I bet to that they're hilarious to me. I was trying to think of this ever been a movie where he hasn't either screamed or cursed. And I'm trying to think of one. He screamed, he was in uh he was in Die Hard with Bruce Willis. He was screaming and cussing in that one. Pulp fiction was his that was that was a classic. Pulp Fiction was a was a uh, absolute classic one. Say what again, motherfucker? I dare you! I double dare you! Does he look like a bitch? What? Does he look like a bitch? Oh, hilarious! But his story is is very very powerful. He got into acting, you know. He was on drugs, and he was what they call it. What they, cause I guess they call it like a functioning addict, or something like that. Where he could, you know, he was on drugs, but he could still perform his lines. You know, you no know, on drugs, alcohol, you no. Know, but he was still working as an actor. His wife was you no know, had his, had his support, you know, supported him through it. And he eventually kicked this habit, which is very, very good, very, very good. And he and he proceeded to do very well in the business. He he did very well in the business, and he continues to do very well in the business. He always has very good roles. They they vary, but his roles are very, very good. Uh, like some of my favorite roles from him was um we played Gator from uh Jungle Fever. We played the drug addict brother of um was it I forgot yeah. he played uh, he played the son uh, um of, of Ozzy Davis and Ruby D's uh no character, the Reverend Good Doctor. He was his son, you know, on drugs and stuff.
He had like this little, he had like this dance he would do called a gator dance. He always come up with these new dances. Oh yeah, he played he played Shaft too. They did the uh the movie Shaft. He played Shaft. I'm trying to think of all the movies he played. He played in so many movies. I'm trying to think about what movies did he play in. What movie wasn't he in? Wait for this rain to stop going on here. This is constantly raining where I am. Make me want to curse like Samuel Jackson. All these, all these days have been raining. Yeah, I remember mean, it's like he's been he been in over one hundred films. Like that's a, that's a lot of movies. We think about. Like he's been active for like 30 plus years 100 movies really good movies like he's been a part of some very very historical movies whether it be comedy whether it be serious roles he's been in some very very powerful movies It's coming out pretty good too.
Look at how this came out already. Does he look like a bitch? Sure the fuck him like a bitch. What? Say what again, motherfucker? How dare you? Man, that's hilarious. Every time I hear that. You know what's funny? If Samuel Jackson was on uh, Hollow Nights, if anybody know about Hollow Nights, the movie with Eddie Murphy, and Ray Fox, and Richard Pryor, and Robin Harris, and... Charlie Murphy and Arsenio Hall and James Earl Jones and who wasn't in that movie? But in Della Reese, it'd have been downright funny if Samuel L. Jackson was in Harlem Nights. With all the profanity laced tirades in that movie, oh my god. They had me on the floor with that. Just I could just imagine. Him and Della Reese going back and forth in that movie. I just imagine him and Della Reese going back and forth in that movie. If you just replace Ray Fox with Samuel Jackson, that'd have been downright historical. Because like I said, Samuel Jackson wasn't wasn't coming to America. Um, yeah, he wasn't coming to America, so. Just imagine if he was in Hall of Nights. Mm. Let's see. All right, almost done. At this home stretch. Yeah, yeah. Trying to see what's my what's my favorite movie from Samuel Jackson or what's my absolute favorite. I wanna say it's the Star Wars movie simply because of the role he played. He didn't play a real he didn't play a Serbian role. He was one of the most powerful characters in that movie. And he was unique in the fact that he had his own, you know, he was distinctive, own lightsaber, everything. I thought it was very cool and unique. So if I'm going to say it was my favorite Samuel Jackson movie, it would be that just because of the uniqueness of it. And, you know, something we've never seen before. So that's what I think. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Samuel Jackson. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you all later. Peace.